Are video games a pathetic waste of time, or am I just anti-fun? Let's find out. So, well, the answer could actually be both. So I'm going to talk about video games in this video. Uh, I'm going to be doing the read the email that I printed out kind of video. Um, a lot of people have been talking about video games recently because apparently in Linux there's some kind of new thing with the kernel where it's easier to play games or something. I don't know anything about it. You'd have to ask someone else because I don't care about video games. I don't care about no video games. Actually, that's going to be what this video is about. Why do I, on so many occasions, speak, about, uh, speak out about video games? I'm going to explain my point using this email that I got. So this email is from one uh, Allison. Allison says, in On Setting a Good Example for Kids Slash Zoomers, one of my videos, uh, some other videos, and The Hermetic Answer, that's an article on my website, you said something along the lines of game and porn, games and porn aren't worth spending time on because they are inert activities that don't give you back, give you anything from them, which makes some sense. Uh, in a comment, you also said that video consumption, I guess watching YouTube a lot, uh, is also wasteful, which stuck, uh, stuck with me because it was very honest. Games are art, and it is not worthwhile to spend time with them, for you get nothing in return. But paintings are also art. Does this mean it's not worthwhile to spend time with them? Movies? Poems? Literature? Or is it more the kind of art that matters? Like maybe that some postmodernist art wouldn't be worthwhile, uh, but then that raises the question of what criteria the worthwhile art should meet, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I think this brings up a good point. He compares, I assume this Allison is a boy name. I mean, in the U.S. it's a girl name, but I'm assuming this is a boy. Uh, has some, he has some uh, uh, Portuguese last name. Um, so uh, video games, they're art, right? Well, first off, a lot of people will be like, oh, no, video games aren't art. But I'm actually going to, I'm going to cuck out on this and I'm going to say, yes, video games are art. Uh, there is there's lots of narrative involved. There, of course, is lots of graphical art involved. There is It actually takes a lot to put together a video game, sometimes a lot more than a book. Actually, definitely a lot more nowadays. You have these big AAA video games. So if there are art, why, why would it be wrong? Why would it be wasteful to consume that kind of art and not other kinds of art? Now, let me give you an example, okay? Um, I once had a girlfriend, okay? And she is notable because she was like, she read hours and hours and hours like she read these books like wheel of time kind of stuff where it's like not just it's like one book that's like hundreds of pages but then there's like a bajillion volumes in the series she was she was a big fan of what is it um brandon sanderson okay like these kind of books actually i think i have i think i have one wheel of time book back here that i've never read okay it's, it's like books like this but there are like thirty thousand of them in the series she Loved these stuff, uh, loved, loved these things. Uh, she would read lots of them. She probably read hours and hours of her life, uh, spent hours of, her, hours of her life reading that kind of stuff. Um, now, that said, she wasn't weird because of it. That is, she didn't uh, want to skip out on social things because she wanted to get home and read her books. Um, she just did it sort of, if she had time, she'd open a book and that was it. It wasn't like an addictive thing to her. Now, if you asked her about it, she might, t she would talk about it. She'd talk very glowingly about the book she read, but it wasn't even something that she was like obsessively pushing on everyone. Uh, where I feel like that is very much the case a lot of the times with video games. Um, the one thing about video games that separates them from literature, even, even if like consuming this kind of literature might be, it might take the same amount of time as playing like, playing a triple-A game through or something like that, depending on, depending on how, it's fast you're, how fast you read it might be a couple games, right? Um, so, uh, you know, I don't think it's just the time issue. I think the issue is more like if you, video games are crafted nowadays to be maximally addicting. They are designed like the quests and the characters and the, the mechanics of the game incentivize you, they conspire to incentivize you to play more and more. You have things like Steam, you have things like Xbox that give you achievements for doing minutia in the game. All of it is just putting you on a big hamster wheel where you have this illusion of accomplishment uh, where, oh, I gotta go home. You, you sort of feel like it's your job. You feel like you're doing something. Oh, I gotta get this done, you know? Um, so people will spend more and more time playing these video games, not just, mind you, it starts, oh, I have some time, I'll play some video games because I'm bored. But it eventually devolves into, oh, I'm at a social event, oh, I'm at school, oh, I'm at church, oh, I'm somewhere else, and I'm thinking about playing video games. Whereas I do not feel that that, you know, ex-girlfriend I use as an example, 
I don't feel that I, I ever felt like she was, oh, I've got to get home and read my books. Like, it never came up. Like, if I knocked on her door, she might be reading one, but, uh, you know, it's not the kind of thing that is that takes over your life. Even if you're using an equivalent amount of time, uh, if you happen to have more time and you, you read literature, uh, I don't feel like it's a, addictive in the same way. Same thing, you know, other kinds of art, you know, painting, stuff like that. I mean, to, uh, you know, let's say, if you take a painting... If you take some kind of simple form of art, okay, look, there's a work of art. Oh, that's pretty, okay? You've now enjoyed this. There might be deep layers in here. There might be, like, subtext to this painting. But it does not take hours and hours to consummately enjoy a painting or something like that. Or, or even a, a movie. And I think video games, um, you know, vi video games especially, the same thing, I, actually, this has happened with television, okay? It used to be back in the day, a couple decades ago, um, that if you had video, a video game or television, it was a very small thing. You know, you had Pong, okay? Pong is only going to be so addictive. I'm sure there are people who loved Pong and played it all the time and were addicted to it functionally. Uh, but it has nothing on the kind of games that come out nowadays that are like designed around your psychology to get you thinking about them, to get you laying in your bed at night thinking about the mechanics of that game. I remember t one time in college, there was some period where me and my roommate... Uh, we were playing, like, what is it, um, like, Fallout 3, which was actually sort of a sucky game. Uh, but we played it so much for so, like, day in, day out for, like, a full weekend and then, then some, that when we finally left the room, you, like, forget that you're not in the game. You're like, oh, I, I got a drink from this. Does it have radiation? You know, you, 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 it takes over your brain in a way that, uh, uh, you know, only a video game can. Um, and video games, as time has gone on, have become more like that. They've become, they suck more and more of you. They're time sinks. They're time vampires that are taking more and more of you. Same thing is true with television, actually. Because television, you know, it used to be a thing. Oh, you know, here in my boomer family, we're going to uh, turn on the tube and watch a, a, a show because we're too awkward to talk to each other during dinner, okay? And that was it, okay? That's as bad as it got. Nowadays, it's here, Netflix released this television show it has 20 episodes each of them are movie length and you know have movie quality and they're engrossing and people watch them all in if they binge watch them all in a big row it's something that sucks up your life a lot of the times now uh I'm, I, you know, I don't think television is quite as addicting as video games frankly because i don't really see uh you know many people out there who are like oh i gotta get home and watch my show i'm sure that happens okay uh, if you're really engrossed in it, but video games, it just seems a little worse. Okay, that that's just my opinion, uh, or at least it, I shouldn't say my opinion. It's what I've observed in my life and in other people's lives. Um, so I definitely feel like media has definitely, you know, it has more claws in people now time nowadays because it's it's more it's it's basically psychologically designed to take more and more of you, which eat with each passing year, they get better and better at what they're supposed to do. Um, so what ends up happening is people, you, you know, they are no longer invested in the li their actual life. It, they're just more invested in this this video game or something else. And, you know, for me, even if you're, even, you know, I could even look at a video game and say, oh, wow, this is very well done. Wow, the plot is brilliant. The graphics are great. Wow, it is a work of art, in fact. Even the, the psychological manipulation of it is appreciable. Wow, they did so good in that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just not the kind of thing, um, you know, I, I just don't feel right about it. Like I can't, I, I think, uh, it is something that you have to be a little, uh, you, ha you have to treat it as sacred. You have to, to sort of be careful around it because it's one of those things that's going to manipulate you. So, um, yeah, that's my opinion on video games. And, you know, in a social event, if I'm, you know, if I'm at a party and, People are playing like Super, Super Smash Brothers or something like that. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm against video games. I'm not, I'm not going to play them. But it's just one of those things. It's just a, a severe opportunity cost. I wish I could have all those you know, years back, frankly, of playing video games. I wish I could have all that time back. But I, I never will. And, you know, again, one of the best assets to have in your life, just be bored for a little bit. Because when you're bored, you start playing with things, you start fixing things, you start accomplishing things. You know, it, it, boredom inspires you to do things better than, you know, just latching on to whatever media consumption you do. So that's why, that's my opinion on video games, okay? I just, hopefully I clarified some of that.